My darling wends her winding way across the western plains. She fills the narrow channel and spills into shallow drains and she runs within this country like the blood within its veins and life follows with her where she goes. My darling carries much more than the water she contains. She lives beyond the realm of what she shows. Because water's not the only thing that rises with summer rains. And it's not the only thing that ebbs and flows. My darling keeps the secrets of the years I spent at her side. My wish has found a place within her reaches to reside. The tears I wept, she gently swept. And laughter multiplied, my fears she harbours to this day. But my darling holds a million other secrets deep inside and promises I know she won't betray. She keeps the treasure of my dreams whenever I confide and my worries she washes well away. My darling struggles bravely with the changes she's faced. There are pieces taken from her that can never be replaced. Like the memories of landscapes now centuries erased. Like the efforts that are made to bend her will. But my darling bides her time within the tracks that she's traced. With vows she's promised to fulfill. She knows the greed of men and our capacity for waste. While our changing plans are forced upon her still. So my darling shrinks within herself as she bakes beneath the sun, responding to demands and to the damage that's been done. She sleeps beneath the sand and refuses now to run, her mighty frame a shallow shrunken creek. But my darling waits until the ties that bind become undone to prove she's not pitiful and meek. She sleeps until the other cycle of her life has begun to show that we must listen when she speaks. Because then it rains. And my darling, like an army, swells and bursts across the land. And miles of open country now fall under her command, defying all opposition as her tributaries expand. She turns shrunken wetlands into seas. My darling carries life along with death within her hand. She occupies the flooded plains with ease. She offers up an argument that all must understand. And even the strongest of will could not appease. And then my darling withdraws and returns back to her source. She nestles in her bed without regret, without remorse, as fragile lands recover from the fury of her force to go about the business of regrowth my darling does not compromise the nature of her course. Those actions are bound to her by oath. She is not a creator with a scheme that she must enforce and neither a destroyer, she is both. So my darling has a spirit and a soul to which she clings. The flow of life and death are the songs that she sings, but the hopes, dreams and stories are the cycles that she brings. And her nature never was a guarantee. My darling may be the font from which life eternal springs. She may hold the hope for what will one day be. She has a soul that courses through a million other things. And she has a spirit that has found its home in me.